For the past couple of years, I've been using the JTAG2 UPDI programming interface, which I've dedicated this Arduino Uno for, but this is cumbersome and also over the past couple of years, JTAG to UPDI has been considered less reliable and unpreferred. It's no longer being supported by the mega tiny core in the Arduino IDE. Now they recommend serial UPDI programming. So I made this serial UPDI programming interface with today's sponsor, PCB Way. Regardless of which kind of programmer is used, ultimately there's going to be a UPDI programming pin and a ground pin at a minimum connecting up to the target device being programmed and optionally the VCC power can power the target device if needed. Whichever is being used, you would just choose that programmer out of the Arduino IDE. So getting rid of this one because we're not going to use it anymore. Here's how UPDI generally works. The UPDI pin is a bi-directional data pin. So in order to get two-direction communication, there's a USB-C connector here. Then we have a CH340 USB to UART, which has transmit and receive pins. So we put a shot key diode between TX and RX like this and then just have one connection through a current limit resistor going out to a UPDI programming header pin along with power and ground. The target device being programmed won't try to communicate until the host programming it starts communicating, so there's no concern about coordinating who's transmitting and receiving. So when the programmer wants to start talking over the transmit pin, the UART pins idle logic high, and then when we need a logic low on the transmit out, this diode will finally be forward biased, and being shot key it has maybe a couple of hundred millivolts drop, so this UPDI pin still sees a relatively low logic signal. So the programmer can communicate from TX on out to the UPDI pin and to the chip. Then when the chip responds, it just gets seen directly by the receive pin, so the programmer can communicate both directions. And I wanted this to operate at either 3.3 or 5 volt logic, so I have a selection switch here. 5 volts can be taken from USB, and 3.3 can come from this onboard regulator, so the switch controls VCC on this board going between 3.3 and 5 volts. VCC is what connects to the target device if we are powering it from this board, and VCC powers the CH340 UART. So at 3.3 volts, these GPIOs should operate at 3.3. At 5 volts, they should operate at 5, and everything should work well. If we don't need to power the target device because it has its own power and we just give UPDI and ground, we just have to make sure we have this logic level set appropriately to match. Otherwise, if the target device supports either 3.3 or 5, we can just power it whichever way we want. So if I plug in power here, we can measure those voltages. There's a test sketch in this AT Tiny board to blink an LED for now. So I have a power LED, and while programming, there's also an activity LED here. So when the programmer is transmitting out, it's trying to communicate with a target so we get the activity LED. Right now, this switch is set for 3.3 volts. Probing from ground to VCC pin, I get 3.3. And also the UPDI programming pin, the UART is idling with a GPIO level of 3.3. If I switch it to 5 volts, now VCC is 4.9 something, and the UART UPDI pin is 4.92 something. So the board can run at 3.3 or 5, and we can program it at that voltage as set here. To use this in the Arduino IDE, with the Mega Tiny Core board support set up, in the Tools menu, I choose the ATtiny804 that I'm working with and leave everything else as defaults. For the port, that refers to the USB port for this CH340 chip on the programming interface. So I just choose whatever serial port 
shows up when I plug in this serial UPDI programmer. Then for the programmer, out of the menu, there's a whole bunch of serial UPDI options, and there are descriptions beside them. They run at different speeds. Some of them work better on different computer operating systems, and some of them work better with different UART chips. So I'm currently using a Mac and the CH340, so I just arbitrarily chose the first serial UPDI option, and it worked fine. So from there, I just opened up the Blink sketch, set the GPIO pin to where I have this orange LED plugged in, and I'm going to set a slower blink rate because I already have a relatively fast blink in this demo sketch that's already running. So with everything plugged in, I hit upload, and it's successful, and it starts blinking at a different rate. And I'm going to change the blink rate again to make it fast, hit upload, and again, it programs fine, and now we have a faster blink rate. So this smaller programming board is easier to work with than this larger Uno. Plus now I can free the Uno up for other projects.